Remember when everyone was mad because pro-Palestinian anti-genocide protesters were blocking traffic here? Remember that? Okay. This is in Tel Aviv right now. They're blocking traffic right now because they want Netanyahu to come to a deal with Hamas in order to give them back the rest of the hostages and end this. In fact, this has been happening. Tel Aviv tonight. Tens of thousands out in the streets demanding Netanyahu's immediate ouster, a ceasefire, and a hostage deal. Huge numbers despite a late evening report of eight more. So where are all you bring them home, folks? Okay? Because... I already knew that Netanyahu and the government didn't give a single shit about the hostages. But a lot of you paid propagandists who are still pretending to care, why aren't you listening to those people? Why aren't you listening to the hostages that have already come back? Because we've got one speaking about it right now. Listen to what he says they want. So every Saturday, they showed us all the Afghanot that happened to be in Tel Aviv, in Jerusalem. And uh, I didn't go... I didn't count how much people are there, the but was showing I see that. that a lot. Only one decision, only one. It is the deal between Israel and Hamas. I ask to bring them home as soon as possible. Israel, world, Hamas, I ask you to make a deal. Where's Michael Rapoport? Where's all the bring them home people that have been screeching about this, but then they don't care what he has to say there? Because he made it pretty clear what they want. A ceasefire, an end to this. And the hostages back, a deal with Hamas. There is no, you are not going to bomb your way out of this. And it seems like this guy understands that. I would like to remind everyone that the only time hostages were brought back safely was during a negotiated ceasefire. This was back in November, but they don't actually really care about that. Okay, they don't really care about that. Those types of people that are just screeching the loudest about it because actually it's been reported that since these hostages came back, they've been being bullied and harassed by Zionists all over the internet because they said that the resistance treated them well. Let that sink in. They're mad that the hostages that were released said that the resistance treated them well and they're mad because that doesn't look good for their propaganda so now they're bullying them. Truly amazing. Mask fully off. So why aren't you listening to them blocking off traffic? Why aren't you guys listening to them? Is Tom Cotton gonna come out and say that they should just be run over like he said about protesters here in America? The reason why they're protesting this and blocking off traffic is because they know too. They know that Netanyahu and that entire government doesn't give a single shit about those hostages. They understand that, that's why they're out there. Just to be clear so no one gets it twisted, this doesn't have anything to do with wanting to stop the genocide. They want the hostages back, they want Netanyahu out, but most of Israeli society supports what the IOF are doing to the Palestinians. So don't forget that.